the refining fire. Hi, welcome back to our Director's Cuts as we've been going through the book of Daniel. Now, as we learned about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego last Sunday being thrown into the fiery furnace, it is interesting to know that God actually saved them through it. They weren't sure how God was going to deal with it, whether he was going to save them from the fire or he was going to let them die so that he, God would take them right to heaven. Turned out God saved them from within. And, uh, and so with that, we learn that God is a refining fire. It is interesting that God used that fire to refine their faith. Can you, could you imagine being thrown into a fire, God rescuing you? Uh, would that not make your faith in God grow 10 times more? So God refined them. We use fire to purify metals. What ends up happening is because different metals have different densities, uh, well, when they're in a solid state, they're kind of frozen in place. But once they're melted, literally some metal will either float or sink or stay suspended in between. And that is how you refine metals. And it takes a tremendous amount of heat to do it. God is going to refine your faith. You know, we pray always that God would give us peace and comfort in our day and time. But we have to realize that our God is also a refining fire. We're told in Hebrews, he's a consuming fire. And, uh, and so with that, we need to realize that God is going to refine our faith, not punishing us, helping our faith to grow by letting us, uh, metaphorically speaking, hit the fire. Now, it's really interesting that in Philippians chapter 3, verse 10, it also says that when we suffer in this world, we actually get to identify with the suffering of Christ. Have you ever thought of that? Not only is God refining your faith through difficult times and circumstances to help you to become better, he's giving you an opportunity to sympathize with your Savior who died on the cross, who was whooped, and who was nailed to that cross. So the next time that you are feeling uh, the aches in your body or the suffering in your body, let that be an indication that not that you are suffering with him as regards to sin and salvation, but that you are identifying with, wow, this must have hurt for you to save me. And it should heighten our heart to want to love God a lot more when we feel this kind of pain and that he was willing to do that kind of pain for us. That will blow our mind. And then we get to have fellowship with Christ through our suffering, as Philippians 3 says. Well, thank you for tuning in. I pray that your faith is growing leaps and bounds and that you see God at work in your everyday life. Have a great day.